Hi, I'm Dr. Renee Carlson, President of the American Veterinary Medical Association, which means I have the distinct honor of being Santa's veterinarian and checking out his reindeer before their big travels on Christmas Eve. So there's a lot of things we check them for. We have to make sure that they're healthy for this rigorous trip, but also we have to always check animals before they go across boundaries. Santa's reindeers will be crossing several country boundaries to get to the homes of all the families to deliver their gifts. So there's a number of things that we have to check. First of all, we need to make sure that they're in good condition, adequate weight, and have had enough food so that they can make that long journey. And just like you have to go to the doctor, we always take their temperature, check their weights, make sure they're growing properly, that their heart is okay, their lungs are nice and strong, and then we also want to make sure that everything is uh, healthy for them to make this journey. But reindeer are well accustomed to cold weather. They live normally in the northern climates of Russia or the Scandinavian countries or North America. But these are very special reindeer. They have, a, they have to adapt both to the cold weather where they live naturally, but during Christmas time, they also travel to very warm countries. Reindeer in general have a special coat. They have hollow hair shafts so that it protects them in their native environment from the cold, but it also protects them when they have their special trip and go into warm weather as well. One of the problems that reindeer have commonly is a foot condition called foot rot. So we always want to check before they make their special trip in December, make sure that their feet are nice and healthy so that they don't have any lameness problems or sore feet. And with Santa's very special reindeer, they tend to be landing on a lot of roofs. So we don't want them to have any trouble if they land on roofs. Reindeer have a similar set of teeth as deer or even cows. Most of their teeth in the front are on the bottom. The incisors are on the bottom. They don't have any teeth on the top in the front. And then they have a set of molars in the back where they chew most of the, in their native environment, they eat mostly grasses and lichen in the very cold Arctic areas. And every once in a while, Santa's reindeer get a special treat just to give them a little energy between their visits from each housetop and to across country borders. I'm signing a health certificate here for them to be okay to travel anytime with animals. When they cross different borders, they have to have a special certificate, both to say that they're healthy, but also to protect the livestock or other animals in various countries so that we aren't bringing different diseases into different countries where they don't have those particular diseases. So we have to make sure that they're healthy in that way as well. And it looks today like all of Santa's reindeer have passed their physical exams. Santa takes very good care of his reindeer and they all look to be very healthy and ready for their journey. So I think everybody can look forward to getting their special gifts on Christmas Eve.